The frontline bomber Su-34 stands aside from all the numerous Su-27 fighter versions. However, for a person who is not well familiar with different airplanes of the Su-34 relation to the family of the Su-27 aircraft is not obvious. Especially that each of these two aircraft has a different purpose. They are also externally different indeed. The idea to develop a new combat aircraft for destroying ground targets emerged in the early 80s. By that time, the Su-17 and the MiG-27 fighter bombers as well as the Su-24 frontline bombers were operational in the Soviet air regiments. The main task for an aircraft of such type is bombing and missile air attack at enemy ground targets. For the flight mission, these aircraft usually fly under the cover of fighters because their own capabilities to resist an air attack are limited. But what if one could develop a frontline bomber capable to conduct an aerial combat solo with enemy fighters? For a long period of time, to design such an aircraft wasn't possible. Otherwise, they had to give some aircraft characteristics up in favor of its combat load. This was unacceptable for a frontline bomber. Only with the Su-27, these contradictions were solved. This aircraft met all the requirements. Decent flight range, impressive combat load, excellent maneuvering characteristics. Given the frontline bomber specifics, it was necessary to modify the fighter. Initially, the Su-34 was called the Su-27EB, where in Russian the last two letters stand for fighter bomber. The future aircraft prototype, first flight, was made on April 13, 1990. The aircraft was piloted by test pilot Anatoly Ivanov. The most extensive structural changes were made to a front part of the aircraft fuselage. Two crew members sit next to each other. To be more precise, they sit side by side. Such arrangement of the seats makes it easier for a pilot and his navigator to communicate with each other during long flies. Total time of the Su-34 flight mission with air refueling can be more than 10 hours. It's important to feel a shoulder of your crewmate during such flight. When they need a rest or something to eat, crew members can take turns. The cockpit height allows the pilots to stand up during the flight. There's enough space to stretch, to squat in the Su-34 cockpit. It's very important for the aircraft crew during long-distance flights to have extra space in the cockpit. Crew members enter their cockpit in quite an original way. To enter the Su-27 cockpit, the canopy is lifted, while in the Su-34, a pilot must climb through the well of the front leg wheel. On March 28, 2009, the president of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Medvedev, made a familiarization flight on the Su-34 aircraft, piloted by Colonel Yuri Gritsayenka. He described the capabilities of the aircraft to the president. The maximum takeoff weight of this aircraft is 45 tons. 45. This Su-34 is sort of a mixture of different aircraft types. It can be used as a fighter, because it was built on the basis of the Su-27. It can also be used as a frontline bomber like the Su-24. Its combat potential is similar to a bomber and also has a similar bomb load like the Tu-22 bomber. The Su can perform long-range flights because this aircraft is equipped with an air refueling system. What are the distances? Without air refueling, the flight range is 4,250 kilometers. With one air refueling, it's 7,000 kilometers. Every air refueling increases the aircraft flight range. This aircraft can fly non-stop from Moscow to Vladivostok and back. It's also worth mentioning that the total Su-34 bomb load is eight tons, which is not bad at all for a frontline bomber.
strike aircraft combat missions are very specific. The long flights are often performed at low and extreme low altitudes. It's safer to pass through the enemy air defense system that way. And it also makes the strikes more effective. But portable air defense missile systems and even small arms are a big danger for the aircraft at such low altitudes. Therefore, the Su-34 cockpit is a titanium armored capsule. Other vital parts of the aircraft are also armored, which means this aircraft can also be classified as a ground attack airplane, such as the Su-25, for example. At the same time, the Su-34 frontline bomber is able to stand for itself in aerial combat. This aircraft is very maneuverable, and its maneuvering characteristics are inherited from the flanker. The frontline bomber is equipped with up-to-date air-to-air missiles. The Su-34 maneuvering characteristics are close to those of the Su-27. For a pilot, the Su-34 is like a fighter. This aircraft is very maneuverable and very easy to control. In the end, all the work on the aircraft modification increased its weight. As it was said before, the Su-34 maximum takeoff weight can achieve up to 45 tons. Therefore, the aircraft airframe had to be strengthened, and the new landing gear with rear leg two-wheel bogey was designed. At landing, first the rear wheel touches the runway, then the front one. The Su-34 landing is very smooth. I can't think of any pilot who had a rough landing on the Su-34. This aircraft is like a cruiser. The aircraft became operational in the Russian Air Force in 2006. These aircraft are manufactured in the Novosibirsk aircraft plant. The Su-34 is the aircraft of the near future. In 1999, another Sukhoi family fighter modification was developed. The crew seats arrangement is similar to the Su-34 aircraft. There is an arresting gear in the rear part, which means this aircraft is carrier-based. As to unguided bombs, their release algorithm depends on the target type. This is the Su-34 bombing. 